Hi guys, so for this video I'll be using yarn in two different colors. The yarn is in size 2 and the crochet hook in size 3.75 millimeters. So I'll start by making a slip knot and then I'll chain 6. And right here on the last chain from the hook I'll make a slip stitch. Now I'll chain three, then through the same loop I'll make two double crochet. Chain two, then through the same loop I'll make three double crochet. Chain two, through the same loop I'll make three double crochet. Chain 2, through that same loop I'll make 3 double crochet. Chain 2, then through that same loop I'll make 3 double crochet. So now to finish off row 1, I'll chain 2, then right here through this third chain I'll make a slip stitch. Now through these next two chains I'll make a slip stitch. Through this two chain space I'll make a slip stitch. Now I'll chain 3, then through that same loop I'll make 2 double crochet. I'll chain two, then through that same loop I'll make three double crochet. Chain one, through the next two chain space I'll make three double crochet. Chain two, then through that same loop I'll make three double crochet. Chain 1, through the next 2 chain space I'll make 3 double crochet. Chain 2, then through the same loop I'll make 2 double crochet. Chain 1, through the next 2 chain loop I'll make 3 double crochet. Chain 2, then through the same 2 chain loop I'll make 3 double crochet. Chain 2, then through the next 2 chain space I'll make 3 double crochet. Chain 2, then through that same two chain space I'll make three double crochet. So now to finish off row two I'll chain one, then right there through that third chain I'll make a slip stitch. So this completes row two. Now for row three through these next two chains I'll make a slip stitch. Through this two chain loop I'll make a slip stitch, I'll chain three, then through the same two chain loop I'll make two double crochet. Chain two, through that same two chain loop I'll make three double crochet. Chain one, through the next one chain space I'll make three double crochet. Chain 1, through the next 2 chain loop I'll make 3 double crochet. Chain 2, 
chain two through that same two chain loop I'll make three double crochet chain one through the next one chain loop I'll make three double crochet chain one through the next two chain loop I'll make three double crochet chain two then through the same two chain loop I'll make three double crochet chain one through the next one chain loop I'll make three double crochet chain one through the next two chain loop I'll make three double crochet chain two through the same two chain loop I'll make three double crochet chain one through the next one chain loop I'll make three double crochet chain one through this next two chain loop I'll make three double crochet chain two then through the same two chain loop I'll make three double crochet chain one through the next one chain loop I'll make three double crochet chain one then right here through this third chain I'll make a slip stitch so this completes row three so we repeat row three until we have 15 rows I honestly I don't know what this color is called it looks kind of like pink but it's not exactly pink it kind of it looks very pretty prettier than pink <laughs> So yeah, here, that's just for the, for the sake of this video, I'll call it pink. So two rows I made in lavender, two rows in pink. One row lavender, two rows in pink. Two rows lavender, one row in pink. Two rows lavender, two rows in pink. One row in lavender. You can mix and match your colors the way you want to, but uh, you wanted to do something different, so that's why I'm mixing them this way. Now on this side here, and this side there, I'm going to make a loop for sleeves. So yeah, now for row 16, right here through this two chain loop, I will chain three. Then through that same loop, I'll make two double crochet. Chain two. Then through the same loop, I'll make three double crochet. And now I'll chain 31. So now that I've chained 31, I will skip these next seven one chain spaces. Then right here through this eighth one chain space, I'll make three double crochet. Then I'll chain one through the next one chain space. I'll make three double crochet. Chain one through the next one chain space. I'll make three double crochet. So 
So here as you can see we have five corners one two three four five so this is our first corner so this is where we have made this 31 chain space and we skip seven of these loops and through the eighth loop we made three double crochets so this is where our first sleeve is going to be and this space from this corner to that corner is going to be between our shoulders we have made this first sleeve and then we are going to repeat again row three for these uh, three corners. So after we finish these three corners, we will make another space for the sleeve. So I will repeat this for these three corners until I come right here to this loop. See, if you count them here from the top, we have uh, seven loops. See, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. But since we are going from the left to the right, we when we come here, we will have to skip six loops. And through the seventh loop, we will start making a chain for our second sleeve. I hope you guys understand what I'm trying to say. So now that I've reached this fourth corner, in these one chain spaces, I've made three double crochets in each one chain space. And now I have seven more one chain spaces left. now it's time to make a loop for a second sleeve so I'll chain 31 now that I've chained 31 I will skip these next seven one chain spaces and right here through this two chain space I will make three double crochet chain two then through that same two chain space I'll make three double crochet I'll chain one through the next one chain space, I'll make three double crochet. Chain one. Through the next one chain space, I'll make three double crochet. So I repeat this until I reach this next corner. And now to finish off row 16, I'll chain one. Then right here through this third chain, I will make a slip stitch. Now through these next two chains, I will make a slip stitch. Through this two chain loop, I will make a slip stitch. Now I will chain three. Then right there to the two chain space, I will make two double crochet. I will chain two. Then through the same two chain loop, I will make three double crochet. So this is our 17th row. So now I'll chain one, then I'll skip these next three chains and through this fourth chain right here, I'll make three double crochet. I'll chain one, then I'll skip the next three chains and through the fourth chain I'll make three double crochet. I'll chain one. I'll skip the next three chains and through the fourth chain I'll make three double crochet. chain one then I'll skip three chains and through the fourth chain I'll make three double crochet so I'll repeat this until I come at the end of this chain so here we have eight sets of three double crochets and now I'll chain one then through this next one chain space, I'll make three double crochet. Chain one. 
chain one through the next one chain space I'll make three double crochet chain one then through the next one chain space I'll make three double crochet all right so now we will repeat this until we come right there at the beginning of the next sleeve we still have to increase in these five corners so we'll increase on these five corners from the beginning to the end so as you can see here for all 17 right here through this loop we have made uh, eight sets of three double crochets and then we have repeated the same thing on the right side so make sure you have eight sets of double crochets in both of these loops so yeah now for row 18 we'll basically be repeating row 3 so so we we'll only be working through these one chain spaces and through these two chain spaces on the five corners so we repeat row 18 until our work measures our desired length or until it fits us correctly whichever one comes first so now to finish off this last row, I will chain one, then right here through this third chain, I'll make a slip stitch. So now, so now we work around this loop so we can form a sleeve. So right here through this loop, I will chain three. Then through that same loop, I'll make two double crochet. I'll chain one through the next one chain space I'll make three double crochet I'll chain one through the next one chain space I'll make three double crochet chain one through the next one chain space I'll make three double crochet chain one through the next one chain space I'll make three double crochet chain one through the next one chain space I'll make three double crochet so we repeat this all around this loop until we come at the beginning of this row so now to finish off this row I'll chain one then right here to this third chain I'll make a slip stitch now for row 2 in these next 2 chains I'll make a slip stitch then through this 1 chain space I'll make a slip stitch again now I'll chain 3 then through that same 1 chain space I'll make 2 double crochet I'll chain 1 through the next one chain space I'll make three double crochet I'll chain one then through the next one chain space I'll make three double crochet chain one through the next one chain space I'll make three double crochet We repeat row two until the, our sleeves reach our desired length. So I repeated row two until my sleeve had 26 rows. Then I repeated the same thing for the other sleeve. If you like your sleeves to be longer, then just repeat row two until your sleeves reach your desired length, you know, until they fit you perfectly. So this is what we have. This is our finished work. So that is all for today guys and thank you so much for watching.